Hello, 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 everybody. James here from It's Much More. Thank you very much for being with us. And we're back playing the Evercade. We're on the Evercade VS, and we are playing the next cartridge, which is an Amiga cartridge, the Delphine Software Cinematics Collection number one. So 16-bit and console games on this one. So three games are Amiga and one is a Mega Drive version, but four cinematic classics from the Masters Storytellers, Another World, Future Wars, Time Travelers, and Operation Stealth, Secret Defense. So let's have a look here then first, make sure all the settings are correct. This is how I'm gonna do it on the original ratio and uh, the themes and stuff like that, so just keep it all as it is. The bezel I'm using is this one here, which is the Logo Legends. I made sure that my firmware was updated on the Evercade VS before playing this cart and any of the latest carts just in case because my VS has been in storage for a little while but as there's new carts out I thought I'd come out of retirement like Michael Bublé does at Christmas but uh, this Evercade cartridge works on the Evercade EXP, the VS and the Evercade original handheld so yeah all of them so far so let's start off with Future Wars Time Travellers Future Wars is an adventure game for one player. Step into the time machine and experience the adventures of several lifetimes in this cinematic sci-fi story. Use a D-pad to control the cursor on screen and press A to move. Um, where are we looking? Move the game's hero and press B button to bring up the interactive menu to choose the action to perform. Then press A if required. Point the cursor at the object or person you want to interact with and press the A again. And press A again. History about the game there if you wish to read it for yourself. And this is what Katie says. There you go, you can read all that yourself. So here's the controls. A for the activate the selection and B for the menu. And the virtual keyboard as well if you want to press select. So here we go. I have no nostalgia whatsoever for Amiga games. So the previous Amiga card, I didn't either. Because I've never owned an Amiga. There we go, can move the cursor around. So it lists the credits at the bottom of the screen. Design and program by. Here we go, here's a... Oh, just got shot straight away. Looks like a UFO spaceship flying down, taking care of all these people. Whoosh. Future Wars Time Travelers. So if you're new to this channel, what I normally do on these videos is just play a brief little bit of the game. So I don't give too much away, I let you experience it for yourself. So that's why you need to purchase these Evercage physical cartridges. They come with a nice glossy manual and sometimes uh, other little special features and little goodies as well. So this one has a poster in it. So yeah, it's all about physical hardware with this Evercade at the moment. Standing in a cradle, perched on top of a skyscraper. Muffled traffic noises reach your ears as you work. Okay, so I'm just uh, a window cleaner. And there's a window that's just opened. That's Ed the boss. There he is up there. Whoops, just knocked over what looks like paint, but I'm guessing it's gonna be water if I'm a window cleaner. So yeah, um, he's shouting at me quite loud up from up there. Wait, sit back and let this storm pass. Hopefully he doesn't fall out the window. His tie is uh, swinging in the wind. And he closed the window. That was a nasty moment. Okay, beautiful uh, setting here with this window showing you uh, the backdrop of the city. So you can walk around with the character. Operate this. It doesn't work. Examine it. There we go, yeah. Let me operate with this one. So I briefly had a quick look to see if it worked and it does, or was it use? I can't remember, operate, let's try operate. Press the red button. Oh, hey. Because this here window is a jar. It's half open. And I think this is as much I, as I played on this bit. Just see if it worked. But let's see if we can go through here. Do we operate it? Operate the hero. Operate window. Oh, it's opening. 
Can I go in? Climb over the window. Cautiously entering the building. Oh, here we go. Oh, what's this? Uh, what's that there? Waste paper basket. Oh, it's something else in there. A plastic bag. There's a large red plastic bag in the waste paper basket. Can I take it? Take the plastic bag. Come a little closer. Is that closer? I don't know. Is it further away? Over here. That's got to be close. What? That's like right on it now, surely. He picked up the bag completely empty. Okay, but I might need it anyway. Let's go through here. Can I look in this cabinet? Operate cupboard. <sighs> Come a little closer. Operate. Hey. Okay, let's take whatever that is. Why don't you take another little piece of my heart? There you go. Uh-huh. Oh wait, can I go in the... That's another door to it. Here we go. Right. Can we open this door? Oh my gosh, I'm like right by the handle. Hey, it opens easily. Oh, there's a toilet in there. A water convenience. No. Okay. Let's try this door over here. Come a little closer. Yeah, of course. I'm like right on it again. Oh, that door opened. Doesn't like it. Uh, you get a nasty feeling in the pit of your stomach and think you might be better off going back to work. Okay, let's go back to work. Do do do. Okay, so let's go back to work then. C can I use that plastic bag with whatever this is? Examine empty bucket. Oh, can I can I take the empty bucket and fill it out with water? Carry on my work. Okay, right, let's go back through the window. Okay, so empty bucket. Use empty bucket with sink. I'm like right on it again. So use empty bucket with sink. Oh, I'm like right on it. Okay, you can't get any closer than that. Because in that way I won't be able to press on it. Yeah, right, okay. Let's open the door. Oh wait, you couldn't do anything there. Oh, it's a mirror. Let's try one more time. I think I'm the closest I can get to it without actually being in it. Right, that's it. Changing game. Okay, 1989 that game was. Operation Stealth, we're moving on to now. 
1990, so the year later, Operation Stealth is an adventure game for one player again. Uh, use the D-pad control, the cursor on screen, press A to move the game's hero, I think we've heard this before. Press the B button to bring up the interactive menu and choose an action to perform. Then press A to attempt that action. If required, point the cursor at an object or person you would like to interact with. Press A again. Okay, so we've heard that before. Operation Stealth is the history about the game. And this is what Katie says. Sometimes you need to use the interactive menu option on an inventory item. To do this, press B button instead of A when choosing the action. Okay, so it's all a bit confusing now. So pressing B instead of A and A instead of B. Oh, we've seen this logo before. Well, I have on some, I think it's on flashback actually, it starts off like that. Oh, it's like Metroid. Top Gun. The danger Zone. So it's not a very long video that I'm going to be doing of this, like I say, just briefly having a look at the games. I think I'm going to spend more time in the games loading than me actually playing them. Oh yes, the music's kicking off now. It's a year later from that previous game. Here we go, music and effects by those two people. Off operation stealth. Not very good at stealthy games. Never been good at bus to sell or Hitman or anything like that. We're here at Washington DC. The CIA headquarters. Or headquarter. Mickey Mouse on the table. Looks like James Bond. You have a good trip, John? Excellent, sir. The vacation was exquisite. Good. What do you know about stealth? Uh oh. So you can read this as all your heart's desire if you want to pause the video and do all that good stuff, or buy this for yourself and play for it. Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, I love it when they do little funny jokes like that. Top guns. Quite a problem. Pentagon suspects the Soviets. Of course they do. Of course they do. That's for you to discover. One of our agents is already there. According to his last report, he seems to be on to some most interesting information. He will contact you as soon as you arrive. Charlie asked me to give you a new briefcase. Good luck, John. Thanks, sir. Got the new briefcase? Paragroup. Here we go. So let's go over here. Can we examine this? What is it? Coin slot. Newspaper boy. Newspaper box. Okay, so can we open it up? Why? I wouldn't. Is that really good? Okay. Uh, yes, I know that. Take. Can I take a newspaper? Operate the coin slot. Do I have a coin? That doesn't work. Okay, let's go through here. 
Oh, cool. The doors open without me having to say open on the doors. Oh, there's another sink. We like our sinks. There's a hand dryer. Please leave the toilets in the same state as you found them. Okay. It looks rather clean in here. Bin. Empty anyway. In the toilet. So I don't know what sort of camera angle this is, but it's... Uh, what can we do with this? Don't see anything unusual. Operate the toilet. <laughs> that doesn't work. Can I take the flush? Okay. What's that over there? <laughs> Nothing happens. Take the loo roll. Nope. So I can't do anything in here. Any other door? No. Nope. What's this here? Can I operate it? I like how it doesn't say uh, I come closer. A napkin. I've been your hands on. Can I take it? So sink and mirror. So let's have a look at the mirror. And the sink. That doesn't work. Can I use it? Oh, use airline ticket briefcase. Uh, okay, nothing in here, I guess. There we go. Might do something later. What's this guard want? Chat to him. Speak. Hello, officer. My name is Glimes. John Glimes. Glams. Yeah, and my grandmother rides a bicycle. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, inventory. Briefcase. Nope. Use. Briefcase. With this person. Try and find something else. Airline ticket, maybe? You hand your air ticket to the customs officer. No sensor, not that ticket. Okay, let's go. Whoa, stop, sensor, do not pass here. Your passport. And my passport in my briefcase. The only thing left to use it with is this thing over here. Needs briefcase with <sighs> Next game. <laughs> I can't figure it out. I will when I come back to it. Alright, speaking of next games, another world. So here we go. Now this one, I think I know how to play this one, but it's very, very difficult. Another world is a platformer for one player, again. So, um, a scientific experiment gone wrong has teleported scientist Lester, or Lester, to an unknown alien world, and now he must seek a way home. Okay, so that's the general idea of it. So there's the history there if you want to read it for yourself. And this is what Katie says, everything out there, everything is out to get you in this game. Tread carefully. Here we go, another world. Music and sound effects. Wow. 
So I've never played this on the Amiga. Like I say, never owned an Amiga. To be honest, playing the Team 17 Amiga games and these ones, thus far, you know, it's not making me want to go rush out and buy an original Amiga or that mini one either. But, you know, loads of uh, fans for it. They do their regular meetups and expos and all sorts. Magazine still, so there must be some big hitter games. I don't know if these are the big hitter games. But we've already had Team 17 and Delphine publishers and developers. Good evening, Professor. I see you've driven here in your Ferrari. Dude, 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 dude. 1990 run project 23 23 percent so I don't know any of this before you just run the experiment what do I need to press the keyboard oh it's done it for me phase one It's going to be a long intro. 20 seconds. My gosh. Yeah, that's what I'm actually wanting. A can of soda. Oh, five seconds left. That was quick. Looks like a thunderstorm going on that side. I was never really good at this game. Because I've played it since on. Whoa! Oh! It's a big, massive crater I'm taking care of. But I do remember on this bit, you have to press up to get off your chair, off the desk, because those tentacles will try and get you. Woof! Okay, so here I am. I remember I have to do that with those silly little things on the floor. So let's go. And let's jump. Hey, these things. Little snaky things. That one's no harm. I don't think anyway. Get rid of that one before it falls, because I now have to run back. This is just all from, uh, uh oh, all just from memory. There you go. Loads here. That thing in the background. Whoa! Hey! Okay, right. Far too many. Let's try that again. Quick, off the desk. Off we go. Before those tentacles get me. Day of the tentacles. Let's go. Alright, so there's only one here, which is good. There's two now. There's another one there. That's him. There you go. Alright. Whoa. Oh, come on, you having a joke? That's it. Hit detection is incredible. Okay, that's all of them I think cleared. Whoa! Run! Quick time, quick time, quick time. Whoa! Oh, he's fell over. Oh, what? It didn't work. The jump didn't work. <sighs> okay, we'll try that again. Just see if this works. So, do you have to hold A then press B? Yeah, you do. Well, okay. Oh, 
Oh, come on. It felt, felt near enough right on me. I mean, for someone to get this game, that like, straight away, it's like... And they first, they're playing it for the first time, be like... I'm taking it back, I'm, even though I'm renting it from Blockbuster or wherever people used to buy their games from, WH Smiths or John Menzies or wherever back in the day. Dixon's or Rumbelow's or R Price, Woolworths. Let me know in the comments where you used to buy your video games, Amiga games, computer games, console games from. Growing up, be nice to hear. I used to buy a lot of them from WH Smith. Like the Game Gear games and Amstrad games. And that one's going to fall down now. Another two. Got to clear them up. These weird little turd sort of snake things. Another one. Okay, let's go. Go, go, go. Quick time. So he falls over a little bit here. And this bit. Watch out for that guy. Wow, yeah, it worked. Oh! Quick time, run! Run, run, run! Oh no! He's catching me up! Oh! Oh, he just shot that uh, dog thing. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. Oh, okay. Should I have jumped? Okay. Oh. I'm sure he's a goodie, this guy here. Oh no, he's one of them, isn't he? Swing this thing around. Oh, he doesn't like me swinging this thing around. Oh! I'm guessing we run, yeah? My <laughs> Dylan. Let's go! So I follow this guy. Whoa! Okay. Hey, where are you going? Oh, okay. Oh, no. I'll have one more go of this bit here. Take his gun. So there was a wall there, so they couldn't get me. Okay, <laughs> so let's go. Oh, what? Anyway. I could play that game for ages now that I got past that bit. That's cool. And now the last one, so Flashback. This is the only Mega Drive game on this collection. Because the developers and Blaze and Evercade and all that said the Mega Drive version runs better than the Amiga version. So I don't know. Like I say, I can't compare. I think I had this on the Super Nintendo. Draw holster. There's your keys. Flashback is a platformer for one player again. Um, over the course of seven vast levels, it's up to you to explore, collect, and use items, interact, and all that sort of great stuff. And we've got here, and then the history of the game. There it is. And this is what Katie says. So let's have a go. Oh yes, that's what I remember. How the intro started like that. Is it going to have the good intro on the Mega Drive? And all the music? 
Oh yes, it's got that intro. And the music. Sounds slightly different. Flashback. So after crashing the spaceship, I've landed here. Whoop. Okay. What do I remember? How do I remember to play this? Don't go that way, of course. Get your gun out. Do that sort of cool stuff. Dun -dun. I remember I use this. I get your inventory. Not start. Okay, so I've selected up here. Get ready for the good music. Do do did, did 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 did. Let's do it. What's this music? Wow, bad music. It's no. Maybe they couldn't have that music in it. Good question, but it would take too long to explain, and the time is short, and if you want to save your ride, hide, save your hide, my backside, you must contact your old friend, Ian, in New Washington. He'll explain it all there. Good luck, and watch your back, because it's my life you're playing with. Okay, right, so we take the hologram off and go back to the gun. Uh, let's go up here. Whoa! Okay. Whoa, watch out! I forgot about him. Not as slick as I used to be at this game. Whoa! Oh. Still a, a very impressive game. So if you found it like Prince of Persia and the original Prince of Persia and stuff like that, then you may like this style of game. Whoa, we made it! Get out of there! Let's take this guy on. Look at that! I remember it! I remember you! Alright, let's go this way. Oh! Here we are. Got a stone. See, I mean, this alone having this on a cartridge, playing it on the VS and taking it with you either on the Evercade original or the EXP is impressive. So I think I used to stand here and throw the stone. Nope, wasn't there. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one. getting quite far, well, I think further than I've ever got in this game. How do I climb down? Oh, here we go. <laughs> cartridge lock. Fully charge cartridge. Okay, not got one of those yet. Let's take out this guy. There you go. What's that? Let's go up here first. Uh, nah. Hey, anyway, impressive game. Alright, well that was the Delphine, or Delphine, software collection number one for the Evercade. It's the Cinematics, or Software Cinematics collection number one, Amiga games, and an Omega Drive game in there as well. This does require firmware update on this cartridge, so you need to make sure that you, your Evercade VS, your Evercade original, and the EXP is updated with the latest firmware to play this, but out of all these games, I know it's an Amiga cart, but I enjoyed Flashback the most. Um, these two are just probably need to learn how to play them a bit more, and that one's a, a tough game. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the Evercade playlist that we have on the channel as well. Loads of good games on there, whether it be live streams, talking to guests, or just playing through the games or top 10, top 5s that I have on there. Thank you very much again for being with me on this journey, and we'll see you in the next one. You take care of yourself. All the best. Bye-bye.